Hello, my name is David and I'm going to show you today how easy it is to create a custom report object so that you can do your Salesforce reporting of desk.com cases. So let's get started. So the first thing you do is you're going to go to the setup mode. So you'll either click your name in the upper right corner to go to setup or you'll click on setup directly. From there you're going to expand create, then you're going to click on report types, then you're going to click on the new custom report type. From here you're going to choose the primary object and since we're using desk.com cases that's what I'm going to choose. Then I'm going to name it desk.com cases. Then I'm going to tab through and that's going to put the report type name of the API name and that's Salesforce putting underscores for periods and spaces. Then I'm just going to copy and paste in the description so I know what it is. And I'm going to store it in my customer support reports. And I'm going to deploy it so that it's available for everybody. Next, I'm going to click on Next. Okay, I'm not going to associate any other objects to this object, so I'm done. I'm going to click on Save. And it is that easy. I now have my custom report type. So now I'm going to click on Reports. I'm going to click on a new report. I'm just going to type in Desk. And there is my desk object. So as you can see, you can create uh, reports on the cases alone, or more likely you're going to create uh, a report based on the account or the contact. So I can click on either one of these, and then I'm going to click on Create. Now I'm in Salesforce's reporting engine, which is, as you know, the most powerful reporting engine there is. Uh, easy to use and available for almost anything. So you can see the desk.com case object is here, and all of these objects here in this list is what I can report on through the desk.com case. Uh, and then from there, I can go down into the contact object and add any field from the contact object into my report to then create my report. So once you've done that, you run your report, you save it, and then you save it to a public folder, and anyone in your org has access to this report. So I hope this helped, and let us know if you have any questions. Thanks so much.